Hi, it's Matt here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this one, we're going to be getting quite deep because I want to share with you that this is just my own personal perception and opinion on what I believe happens to us when we cross from this reality into the next. It's the unknown. It's that question that everyone wants to know. But the honesty is no one can factually give you the answer because if they were to actually explore the truth, they would have passed over themselves. So, you know, everyone's opinion on this is slightly different. Mine has been derived from just my own spiritual awakening in the last five years, being able to you know, uh, connect with the other side. It made me open my eyes and ask these questions after losing my mother to cancer in July 2017. And that was really the trigger for me. That was where I started to question everything and really want to ask those bigger questions and understand at that point what happens. I refuse to believe at 50 years old, I'd never sort of see my mum again. Surely her soul and who she was, her personality would carry on. And this is where this spiritual awakening for me has led me down this path of where I've been able to connect with her multiple times as well as have many outer body and um, these incredible beautiful experiences where I've been able to access altered states of consciousness and awareness which has given me a very clear viewpoint in my opinion of what I believe happens at that point of crossing over. Now in this realm of existence that we know of life right now it's important to understand that at this level science has been able to prove that everything is just energy. In fact I can't give you the specifics but it's 99.99999 percent energy vibrating in this universe at a certain frequency. Now that's really important to understand because you need to be aware that even though we perceive things as physical objects such as ourself or our personal items, if we were to look at it closely, it's actually just energy. The human body is a condensed form of energy vibrating at a certain frequency. And if you were to look at it really closely, it's just molecules, atoms, right down to energy. So you've got to then question what happens at the point of crossing over? Because if we're just energy and we break away from this human body, what happens to the soul, which is just energy? Because energy can't be destroyed. What happens to it when it crosses over? And this is where from accessing these different sort of realms of consciousness, I've been able to have this very clear view on what I believe happens. And I, this is what I believe happens. So there are two stages and two different types of uh, ways people pass over. The first, like my mother, is people that are to a certain degree expecting it to happen, maybe because they're terminally ill and they have time to prepare for it. Maybe they're old, um, maybe it's suicide, whatever. You know, people are aware of the fact that they are on the verge of potentially passing over or dying or whatever that means. So when those people pass over, like my mum, like my mum's been able to communicate with me and tell me, is that they are greeted by their soul family. They're greeted by their guides, the people that were there for them, looking out for them, their mentors and their loved ones who were already there. And they are then aware of the fact that they are bliss. They're, they're, they passed over and they are aware of that. Now, in contrast, there are the people that are taken from us really abruptly um, in whatever way that is. And because it's so abrupt and unexpected, those people when they pass over, are confused. They're greeted by the same people, but you've got to imagine that they've gone from one reality to another reality and they don't quite understand what's happened. Now, these people are taken to an area uh, where they're given time to become accustomed to sort of transition and sort of, you, you know, uh, I suppose you could say have time and peace to be able to try and comprehend what's happened and how they're now um, in a different realm of existence. They're no longer in the physical. They're no longer where they were. Now, either category of people, once they've passed over, once they are meted by their, meet, uh, uh, greeted by their soul family, will be taken to review their life. Now, this is really, really important because my understanding previously when I started to understand that we review our most recent life incarnation is that we would watch our life back almost like on a projector and we'd watch our life and we'd remember all the, you know, the fantastic things that happened to us, the memories, what we did, the experiences. But I've been able to understand now from going to a real deep altered state of consciousness is that our um our reflection of life is just derived by what we project ourselves through our imagination. And it's actually completely different to the perception 
of the people around us. So how we think we are is essentially completely different to the people that are around us in our lives, our spouses, our children, our parents, our friends, our neighbours. And if you imagine that, your true self is actually the perception of other people because other people know really who you are, what your behaviour is like, how you show up emotionally, how, how you, what energy you give. So in actual fact, when we review our most recent incarnation, I want you to imagine that you would be reviewing your life from the perception, from the angle of all the people in your life that you were surrounded by, whether that's your most your closest family members or even the people that you, you know, had conflict with in your life. You're going to be watching your life from from their eyes. You're going to be looking down at your you from 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 that angle. And in that moment, this is where the biggest discoveries, the biggest spiritual growth occurs because we're able to learn. We're able to we're able to see how we impacted people in this lifetime. And with our guides, we'll plan after that and we'll, we'll learn from it. And we'll go, well, we did that wrong. You know, we, we shouldn't have said that there or th this experience led to, to this negative um, experience. We could have done this differently here. And imagine, just imagine how powerful that is, because if you didn't see it in that perspective and you saw it from your own perspective, you'd never learn, would you? You'd never be able to, to see what you did wrong, because how many times do we believe we're right in an argument when actually, you know, it could be the other person? You know, and, and we only learn by sometimes stepping outside of ourselves and seeing it from that other perspective. And this is why that we have this really important review, because it gives us an opportunity in a moment to reflect and try and work out what we did, what wrongs we did, and how we can evolve spiritually. Because our only goal really is to evolve spiritually. And we will take those moments and we will learn and we will then plan our next incarnation. So again, like I said, this is just my own personal perception of what I think happens. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next soon. Take care.